Welcome to the stage, Senior Vice President and General Manager of Radeon at AMD, responsible for all Radeon graphics like the new RX 7000 series GPUs. Scott Herkelman! <laughs> Hi, Scott. So good that you're joining us. I hope you're doing well. And I got to ask, like, just straight off the bat, anything cool you've seen at Gamescom so far? Uh, anything cool I've seen at Gamescom? How about the League of Legends team that was right before us? And uh, I have to ask you something. Do you think North America can beat that League of Legends team? Ooh. Could Eintracht Spandau win the LCS, guys? <laughs> That's what I thought, Scott, but no way. I don't think you flew over 7,000 kilometers here just to chat about League of Legends with me, right? I've heard you have some exciting news for us. Yeah, that's right, we do. You know, 2023 has been a massive year for new games, and developers continue to push the boundaries for PC experiences. And that's exactly why we built the RX 7000 series. That includes the 79,000, 7900 series for gamers who play at 4K resolution, and also the 7600 series for the majority of gamers who play at 1080p resolution. However, more and more gamers are buying 1440p displays, and older GPUs struggle in these new games at this resolution. So I'm excited today to introduce two new GPUs, and let's get them right on here. The first is the brand new Radeon RX 7800 XT 16GB. And we are also announcing what we call its little brother, the Radeon RX 7700 XT 12GB graphics card. Both come with DisplayPort 2.1 for brand new displays, AV1 for next-gen streaming, and of course, fast AI acceleration for the next generation of games. Absoluta Wahnsinn. Absoluter Wahnsinn. Also, da habt ihr es. Offiziell angekündigt die neuen AMD-Karten, die Radeon RX 7800 XT mit 16 GB GDDR6. 6. 6. Eins von beiden, dürft ihr euch aussuchen. Und natürlich auch die 7700 XT mit 12 GB. So, that's pretty awesome, Scott. And I was checking out our Benchfest earlier a little bit and got to play some games on the new cards and I gotta say, compared to my 2060 at home, man, I'm due for an upgrade. You're definitely due for an upgrade. Upgrading your GPU is actually one of the easiest things you can do to make your system feel fast again. For example, you can see on the screen here, Versa RX 2070 Super, which is a four-year-old GPU. The 7800 XT gets you over 60 frames per second and is 50% faster in The Last of Us. Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and is twice as fast in other games like Resident Evil 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And with Radeon performance technologies, you can push frame rates even higher on the Radeon RX 7800 XT with FSR 2. The Last of Us Part 1 game gets over 90 frames per second at 1440p with settings maxed out, and these cards push triple digit frames per second in Horizon Zero Dawn, close to 200 frames per second. And Lies of P, a new game launching this September, also gets close to 200 frames per second. Wow. I mean, that sounds like gamers that love to min-max FPS to the absolute extreme are right at home with that Radeon. Yeah, that's right. And let me just show you a, a broader view of games. And so if you look at, at native performance across even more of the most popular games in the industry right now, the Radeon RX 7800 XT trades blows with the competition, which this card is $599 from our competition, and it has more VRAM and the latest display technologies. And on the Radeon RX 7700 XT, across the same popular titles, it delivers over 60 frames per second with max settings on your 1440p display, often besting the 4060 Ti 16 gig. And you'll be able to buy the Radeon RX 7700 XT starting at $449, and the Radeon RX 7800 XT starting at $499. Wow. Für uns in Europa sind das dann natürlich für die RX 7700 XT die 489 Euro und für die 7800 XT die 549. 
For those of you in the audience today that have been able to experience these new GPUs firsthand at the back of the auditorium, are some of your results now live on screen on the 7800 XT across six games? We don't just take our word for it. Check out BenchFest. It's right behind you. All of you in the audience right now, you can go ahead and play the latest games on the RX 7800 XT and experience the smoothness for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Also Drüben in unserer Benchfesthalle, da könnt ihr alles Mögliche an neuen Spielen ausprobieren, aber auch für die etwas mehr Stat- und Technikorientierten, ihr könnt euch mehrere Benchmarks mit diesen neuen Karten direkt selber angucken. So. Ein anderes Ding, was ich glaube ich noch ankündigen muss, ist, äh, nennen wir ihn jetzt äh, Santa Johnny oder äh, Nikolaus Johnny, aber da war so ein großer Sack voll mit Grafikkarten. Wenn wir hier durch. <lacht> Wenn wir hier durch sind, dann, wenn ihr gut Frisbees fangen könnt, dann habt ihr vielleicht Glück, ein oder andere davon mitnehmen zu können. But first, Scott, we'll chat again a little bit later, but first, thank you so much for yeah, joining me. Thank you. So, the cards already are pretty exciting, but I do want to welcome another special guest to the stage from AMD. And he's going to give us some updates on FSR and AMD software. So please welcome to the stage Chief Architect of Gaming Solutions and Marketing at AMD, Frank Azor. <laughs> hey, Lippy. Hey, Frank. It's so good that you can join us today. <sighs> Ready to take those new cards on Overwatch 2 for us? Oh, spin? absolutely, absolutely. They're amazing. You guys are going to love the performance of them. Hell yeah. And you probably checked out some of the games new at Gamescom. Anything uh, that kind of struck your fancy? Anything that you're looking forward to? Who's looking forward to Starfield? Come on, right? Yeah. Ooh. And I'm kind of excited about City Skyline too. I, I've put a lot of hours into part one. I've been waiting for it for a few years, so really excited about that too. Hell yeah. Yeah, a little bit of chill gaming. That's I'm going to need like a four week vacation when it comes out in October. <laughs> I can feel that definitely. But we want to talk about some software, right? Because AMD announced uh, RDNA 3 quite a while ago, and you also announced some interesting software features with that. And quite honestly, I think a few updates on that would be very exciting. Well, first of all, what you need to know about the AMD Adrenaline software is it comes with all your Radeon graphics cards, and it's the driver, it's the software, it's all in one location for you. You don't have to deal with different UIs or anything. It's all unified and simplified. It also lets you uh, monitor the performance of your card. It even lets you overclock your card without having to use any third-party software. And there's no account registration required for AMD Adrenaline. No name, no email, none of that crap, all right? And we're going to keep it that way for you. So we've been constantly adding more and more performance-enhancing features to the AMD Adrenaline software. Recently, we added Anti-Lag Plus, brand new feature to reduce your lag. Radeon Super Resolution as well, which is our in-driver upscaler, which works with pretty much any game that's out there, that's DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 gives you massive performance improvements, and we have Radeon Boost as well, which gives you huge performance improvements. I'm going to be honest with you, that does sound a bit complicated. Yeah. I so know, I know. How do we manage that? Yeah, so we realize that. So a lot of different features. Some of you are probably like, never heard of this stuff. And it gets a little complicated. So what we've done is we announced a feature called HyperRx. All right, and HyperRx gets all these features, Radeon Super Resolution, Anti-Lag Plus, Radeon Boost, all of them working together for you, and it turns them on for you in all the games that we've profiled out there. So it's basically an easy button. You just turn on HyperRx, and everything works for you, everything turns on for you. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, like how much performance can HyperRx actually contribute to your games? Check these charts out. I mean, look at the kind of performance uplift that you're getting in Fortnite. Almost a 50% performance improvement in Fortnite when you turn on HyperRx. And it's not just frames per second. Your latency significantly reduces as well. Look at these latency differences when wow. you turn on HyperRx. Ich muss auch ganz ehrlich sagen, 
Das sieht auch vor allem für E-Sports-Interessierte verdammt gut aus. Weniger Latency, mehr FPS, absolut klasse. So you guys have been waiting for HyperRx since the RDNA 3 launch, since the 7900 XTX launch, right? I know it took us a little longer than we originally planned, but it's going to be worth it, and it's coming to you in just a few weeks. In early September, you're going to get the driver drop, and it's going to work on your Radeon cards. That's awesome. But I do want to keep digging on some of the updates and news on software, so I'm just straight up going to ask, when is FSR 3 coming out? <laughs> you guys want an update on FSR 3? Yeah. yeah, I think it's uh, the most uh, replied comments I've been getting on social media is where the heck is FSR 3? <laughs> so we've got a great update for you today on FSR 3. So first of all, what FSR 3 is, in case you're not sure, is it's obviously the follow-on to FSR 2, our upscaler and our uh, performance enhancer that integrates into games. But FSR 3 adds our fluid motion frames technology. And what that does is it literally generates frames for you in your game, which can double and in some cases triple your frame rate. And when you pair it with Anti-Lag Plus, it significantly reduces your latency as well. It's pretty incredible what the team has been able to accomplish with FSR 3. So a couple other things you should know. It's still going to be open. It's going to work on Radeon 7000 series cards, Radeon 6000 series cards, and even older cards. How's that? Hell yeah. Doubling and tripling your frame rate on any card that can run it, basically. OK, but we didn't stop there. It's fidelity effect super resolution. And AMD cares about all gamers. So we enabled FSR 3 not just to work on Radeon graphics cards, to work on any graphics card. And our engineers didn't stop there. It doesn't just work on any PC graphics card. It even works on consoles like the Microsoft Xbox. Everybody should get the benefit of frame generation of fluid motion frames. It shouldn't be reserved just for the small select few of people that can buy the latest generation graphics card. That's not right for gamers. That sounds amazing. So when can we get our hands on FSR 3? Oh, I forgot to say that. Uh -huh. right. Who wants to know when you're going to get your hands on FSR 3? <laughs> So first of all, let me show you FSR 3 in action. OK, so the first thing I want to show you is FSR 3 in Forspoken. This is their brand new DLC. OK, and it's running here. You can see the kind of performance improvement that we're delivering with FSR 3. Nearly triple the performance improvement when you turn this feature on. And any of you guys checked out Immortals of Avium? Just came out. We've got FSR 3 integrated into Immortals of Avium as well. And you can expect both Forspoken and Immortals of Avium patches coming out early fall. Just a few more weeks ahead, you're going to see these uh, patches come out. And you'll be able to take advantage of these massive frame rate gains. But we didn't stop there. You probably want it in more than just two games, right? I've been, I've been looking at the new Cyberpunk expansion, Phantom Liberty, and... You want FSR 3 in it? Absolutely. Okay. Space Marine you got it. as well? FSR 3 for you. You got it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So we've already, got, we've already got a bunch of games coming out with committed support for FSR 3. So just check the screen behind me. Over 12 games have already committed to integrating FSR 3 in it. And beyond these 12 games, We've got a bunch of game developers as well, including Unreal Engine is going to put a plug-in in Unreal Engine for FSR 3. And once you do that, you're going to get an absolute ton of games that are going to be integrating FSR 3. So expect FSR 3 support to grow very rapidly from here, just like FSR 1 and FSR 2 did. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I think we're already through all the software stuff, right? Oh, almost. Almost? I got one surprise. Oh, you got more? Oh, yeah, I got one surprise for everybody, yeah. So FSR 3 is pretty cool, obviously, right? But 
So we're going to put it in 10, 15, 20, 50 games. You know, our competitor has their frame generation in like 50 games or so. Wouldn't you like fluid motion frames in thousands of games? How about every DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game you play, we can double and triple your frame rate. Wouldn't you like that? Yeah, we would too. So we asked our engineers if they can figure out a magical way of doing that, because nobody's been able to do it. Every frame generation technology right now requires integration into the game, and that limits how many games you can launch out there with frame generation. But the engineers at AMD are pretty special, and they figured out a way to put fluid motion frames into HyperRx, and that means Pretty much any DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game running the AMD Adrenaline HyperRx software is going to get the benefits of fluid motion frames, frame interpolation, and generation. Awesome. So it's already working. We've got it working in our labs. It looks absolutely incredible. It's going to be launching to the public by Q1, so just a few more months ahead. By Q1, we'll be introducing that in the Adrenaline Driver with HyperRx. And stay tuned to AMD News to learn more about it. All right, guys? That's going to be unbelievable. There's no other solution out there like it. You're going to get massive frame rate improvements with fluid motion frames. Fantastic. Awesome. OK. I have some, youthful thing, some more things in mind that we can chat about, but uh, I'd invite Scott back on the stage for that. <laughs> so, new cards, fantastic. Fluid motion, frames, and tech, amazing. But we've got to talk about Starfield, right? We've got to talk about the biggest game of the year. How good are the cards on Starfield? <laughs> Well, what's been, what's been great is we've been working with our friends at Bethesda now for many, many months, optimizing Starfield, not only across AMD Radeon GPUs, but AMD Ryzen CPUs. And I can't tell you the scores yet, but what I would tell you is that these cards are able to run Starfield exceptionally smooth at 1440p. But who wants a free copy of Starfield? <laughs> ah, that's right. So, for a limited time, if you buy a Radeon 6000 or 7000 series graphics card, you get a free copy of Starfield with it. So if you're thinking about buying a graphics card, do it now. All right, that's an expensive game, and you're going to get a free copy of Starfield with any 6000 or 7000 series Radeon purchase. So I think now's the time to buy. Hell yeah. Also, falls ihr euch eine neue Grafikkarte zulegen wollt, dann kriegt ihr mit jeder neuen 7700 XT und natürlich auch der 7800 XT und für kurze Zeit auch bei ausgewählten 6000er Series Grafikkarten eine gratis Kopie von Starfield. Man, that's exciting. That's a lot, right? That's a lot of good news. But I'll be honest with you, if everyone wants to play Starfield on these new cards, we kind of need to know when they're coming out, right? <laughs> well, that's the great news. Uh, cards will be available starting on September 6th, the same day Starfield launches. And I'm excited for you to get a hand either when you're buying a PC pre-configured or from our AIB partners, September 6th. That's amazing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wunderbar. Um das Ganze noch mal kurz für euch zusammenzufassen, also ab dem 6. September könnt ihr die neuen Radeon RX 7700 XT und die 7800 XT euch holen. Und dazu gibt es eine Gratiskopie von Starfield. Zusätzlich kommt das natürlich mit alles Möglichen am neuen Tag, wie zum Beispiel FSR 3 mit äh, Immortals of äh, Avium und Forspoken. Ist das dazu erst verfügbar, aber dann auch mit jede Menge Games danach. I think already. That's all we had to talk about, right? Yeah. Scott, Frank, thank you so much for joining thank me on you, stage. Thank you, Thank you, Gamescom. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate it.